Hi everybody, uh, and today we're going to carry on our series looking at the Grand California. Uh, so in our last video uh, we looked at the gas bottles, how they were installed on the vehicle that's in there. And back then we said the next bit we were going to look at is the combi boiler. Uh, I've had a little bit of a change of thought uh, and we're going to show you the electric side of it today, which we've done before. Uh, but we're actually going to get uh, plug the electrics in, which we've shown you then here, about how it integrates. And they're both going to meet then because the combi boiler, as I think we mentioned last time, works on both gas and electric. So it was kind of a nice place for these two to meet there. So for example, you've just got your new California Grand at home and the first thing you want to do, obviously you want to have a play with it. The best thing to do though first is with any California when you first get it, is plug it in. Uh, the batteries might have been charged if you've come a long way. Uh, obviously those batteries get charged as your vehicle's driving along. But if not, uh, or you've left your vehicle for a little while, uh, if your batteries are low, as soon as you put the, press the button on the bit here, uh, it'll tell you straight away that the uh, battery is empty, uh, which it is on this one, we just <laughs> left the lights on to drain the battery down. But we're going to plug it in now to the electrics and that'll start charging the battery. I've done this on many videos before but it's always good to have uh, one of these leads, 20-25 metres, something like that, will get you a good distance. We've brought it in from our workshop today. Uh, so just lift the flap up, so it's in, push it all the way in so you hear it click. Uh, and that's now connected to the system. Uh, we'll go back in the vehicle now and we'll show you that it should say on there that it's charging. So back in the vehicle now and you can see straight away uh, the batteries have been charged up. We've got onboard battery, it's going from in there. We know it's plugged in, so we've got a little plug down here at the bottom. Uh, obviously this has got the gas already connected to it that's here. And then obviously this, obviously now remaining time, as the battery starts charging up, it's gonna get more power in there and then this figure is gonna start to go up from there. So the battery's on charge now. The, the California Grand's got two batteries. It's got a main engine battery, uh, which is actually located in the cab. Uh, it's under the front footwell. It's not particularly easy to get to. That's a maintenance free. You shouldn't never need to get it out, but that, that's where the main battery is. Uh, and then the leisure battery, which controls all of these, is actually under the bonnet. We'll have a quick look at that now. So as I said, the leisure battery is located actually under the bonnet that's on here, uh, and this is where the battery is. So the leisure battery is a 92 amp hour battery, so it's nice and big. Uh, and then behind that battery, so if this wasn't here on a normal crafter, behind it uh, you'll see there's a little cap that comes off, and then underneath this is actually where the positive point is for the normal battery. So as I said, the battery is located in the driver's footwell, uh, in the bottom, it's underneath the, uh, the matting, etc. that's in there. Uh, but obviously you don't want to get that all out. If for any reason you need to jump the vehicle or anything like that, the positive point is just behind, located behind the, the leisure battery. Uh, and then obviously you would connect the other end onto an earth lead uh, that's on the vehicle. So we'll do another video on that and explain it probably in a bit more detail at some point further down the line and how it works. And we can look at a crafter panel van because it's easier to show you on, on a base vehicle that's on there anyway. Uh, but that's where you access those points should you need to. So there's five 13 amp sockets uh, in the vehicle. Uh, so there's two on here. There is one in the rear of the vehicle uh, that's at the very back. Uh, there's one which is just underneath the passenger uh, seat which is at the front and then you've also got one on the flap on the back of the kitchen unit. So this is in the rear cupboard of the vehicle uh, and this is where your main electrics uh, come into the vehicle. So you can see something that looks quite familiar uh, on the right hand side that's your consumer unit. Uh, which has got your uh, your trip switches that's in there as well uh, and then in the far left hand corner is your your main uh, isolation switch so that turns all the electrics the whole vehicle off and then obviously you've got some relays as well below that uh, this cupboard really apart from your isolation switch uh, and again I'd, if it was me i'd be leaving that on all the time uh, it's just more a case if you know where these are and finally when your vehicle's completely charged up or you're finished with it to take your cable out just push the balloon and pull away as easy as that. Put that back down, make sure it's clipped in at the bottom, and that'll stop it flapping around in the wind. Thanks for watching today. Uh, so, as I said, a recap is looking at the electric system on the vehicle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like as always, and uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. We'll see you again.